Uh, what's up, guys? This is just a really quick video for people that don't have money at the moment to maybe pay for an antivirus. So I guess you can say they're on a budget or something. Uh, what I've read in PC magazines, the best ones to get um, is AVG or Vera Antivira. I think it's something like that. Anyhow, just go to uh, FileHippo.com and they got a bunch of other free stuff there too. I love this website. It's like my favorite. This is what you call a nerd's website. It's, uh, it's a clean website. You can go in here. Anyways, um, go where it says Anti-Malware Downloads. See, there it is. Anti-Vero Personal. It's a good software, it's a good antivirus, but the only bad thing about it is that there's way too much pop-ups on this, and I cannot stand that. Um, I have it on my laptop, that's the reason why I was saying that. Uh, so anyways, here it is, AVG Free Edition, I've read a lot of good things about it, for being for free, of course. Um, just click on it, download it, uh, once you're done downloading it, remember, it's going to update, but every time that you're going to do a virus scan, always update it. Um, every time. All your all your software, all your programs that are at the antiviruses. Um, always, no matter what. Anyhow, it's uh, AVG. Um, scroll down. you got to have the Malware Bytes Anti-Malware. That thing's awesome. Download that one too. Another one, Spybot Search and Destroy, and the last one is a Super Anti-Spyware. I have these programs on my computer right now, well, except the AVG, because I paid for Norton. I don't know why, but it's about to expire. I end up getting not 32. So, anyways, I, my computer runs clean. I always, every time that I search on my computer, do a scan. It's rare. I find a few little things here and there. But what also helps is um, a program called PureBlock. PureBlock. PureBlock is a it's a program. What it does is it blocks out people that are trying to get into your computer. For example, I have it right here, and it, it finds a a shitload of things are of people trying to get into your computer blocks it out. Only bad thing is that certain websites that are clean, for example, if I'm trying to get, you know, check my bank account, Wells Fargo, or trying to check, uh, trying to watch a movie on Netflix, they'll block the, the page. So what you got to do is you got to open up your pure block, look for the website name, which is not this one, I'm just giving you an example. Let's just say that it says Wells Fargo or Red Envelope, which is for Netflix. You right click it, and then you put Allow Permanently. You probably have to do it once, twice, or three times. I don't know, depending. Now, if it's doing it to a lot of websites and you just get annoyed, which I don't, I don't mind doing it because it's in a way it's like you're teaching your peer block to block it. So it takes time. But if you get fed up of doing it and let's just say you're in a hurry, just put a lot. Thing will turn yellow and right away you can get into almost any website. But that's another thing. That's a cool little program to have. Another one, the last and final one for me is a program called Secunia PSI, which is a program or software inspector. I don't know how to do that. I keep so go right here to Secunia. And go to download, download PSI. Can't even speak right now. Right there, download it. So what this does is it'll inspect all your software, and it'll make sure that it doesn't have any holes. Now, if it finds a few programs or software that you have on your computer that has holes in it, it will advise you to re-download it again. The reason why is if you have holes in your software. Um, hackers can get in easily into your computer. So what this does is it, it inspects everything, make sure you have no holes. So 
so it can make it a lot more difficult for anyone trying to get into your computer. So that's another thing that I like. Uh, like I said, all this stuff, uh, I read it. So it's it's not like it's just coming out of my personal opinion. I always like to read things, investigate what software is good and what software is not. So that's about it. Oh, and for any reason, if you already have a virus on your computer and it's not letting you scan, download all the stuff that I that I mentioned and reboot. Go into safe mode. Press F8 over and over and over. Uh, clicks uh, safe mode with networking and then do a virus scan. That's if if it doesn't want to let you get in. Anyhow, uh, that's about it. Uh, thanks for listening and watching.